today I've spoken of the the online auction of Nibor's work. There may be some of you out there that have not ever seen his work or don't even know who Nibor is. I've made my living my entire life about art, with art, the art that I've done. And I have been, my soul, my first people when I was six years old. I might tell you about him. James Albert is his name. At 85, he has made his living as an artist all his life. He grew up, went to the, the college at the Minneapolis School of Art and Design, joined the Navy, they even had him doing pictures there, and came back to a career as a commercial artist. He had a studio in Minneapolis for a good while and worked for other studios, came to New York City in the late 70s, early 80s maybe, um, and was doing a lot of science fiction work uh, by that time, interiors, all black and white, because he's colorblind. Not exactly colorblind, it's a color deficiency that shifts all the time. But he never worked in color until after he moved in with me. And he moved in in early 84. Uh, we were handfasted in 85, but in the interim, he said, I want to do what I want to do, not what somebody pays me to do. And I said, okay, I'm making enough with my arts and crafts that I can support the two of us for a while. And he said, but I want to find out if people are buying the art for the name or for the art, so I'm going to change the name. He took his middle name, Robin, turned it backwards, and put a Y in place of the I and came up with Nibor. And that has been his nom de crayon uh, ever since. He is well known for his fantasy work, for his mystical work. In fact, his art is called Nibor Mystical Art. He is, he's produced portraiture for people on many, many different countries, people overseas as well as in this country. Uh, I know his, one of his mentors said, he has the best gift for drawing a portrait of any of the rest of us. And they're pretty spectacular. You will see some of them, even if you don't make a bed, you will see some of his work at greensongfestival.com